I'm not, I'm not comfortable with that. And I think it needs to go. They're getting ready. To, they're building a huge ass building. The NSA is for all the spying, and it's just going to get worse and worse. And uh, I mean, it's scary times, brother. That's right, and it's totally illegal as well. But they're just doing it. And, and I noticed in your music video, you 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 show a bunch of the pop people up front, and that was my interpretation. But you just said it that they're using this to project and distract us with all this empty fluff while our basic freedoms are being drained away. Yeah, that's exactly what's happening. Nobody cares what's going on behind the closed doors when Obama makes all these crazy laws that take away more and more of our privacy and make him more of a dictator. Um, something's got to happen, man. It's got to stop. Well, you just said it. Wow, wow. Uh, Obama becoming a dictator, and then when he leaves, the Republicans will have dictatorial power. Why do you think Obama is becoming a dictator? Give us your breakdown on that. I mean, I said it before, I think he's an Illuminati puppet. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think that, you know, it just doesn't make sense, the whole thing. I mean, the guy comes from out of nowhere, he gets made president, all this stuff starts happening. I don't know, it just didn't make sense to me. I mean, and, and to believe, top it off, I'm not really a political person. I don't know much about it. I'm just worried about my privacy and my children's privacy. And, and uh you know, this being America, we're supposed to be landing free and it's becoming a police state. It's just crazy. Well, no army can stop an idea whose time has come. And you talk about a paradigm shift. I'm seeing a paradigm shift. Um, but it's so exciting to see you and your tour and your music and your band promoting basic freedom. That's a breath of fresh air. Tell us about your tour. Um, yeah, we're, we're going, I leave today to go to uh, New Zealand, Australia. In Singapore, so I just go all over the world and um, do what we do, and that's just rocking out, having fun, having kids come out and have a good time. And if they get something, if they take something away from that and see what's going on in the world, I mean, hopefully that'll be in our world just enough just to get things going because I really want something to happen. This is ridiculous. Well, what you're doing as a humble man saying, I'm not really a political person. It's the political people that are in the controlled paradigm. It's the average person who's just been successful with their own art, their own ideas, their own businesses, who has the real right to speak and say, I don't want you stealing my data. I don't want you violating my Bill of Rights. I don't want you violating my Constitution. And it's going to be not just people like yourself or myself. It's going to be the common person just saying no and removing their their consent verbally that will bring the system down. And, and I believe we are getting close to the paradigm shift. Why did you call the new album Paradigm Shift? Is it your attempt to help create the paradigm shift? You know, it was, for us, we called it that because it was a, there was a paradigm shift going on within our band. We had our um, old guitar player come back. He'd been gone for 10 years, um, and everything started to shift for us. But, I mean, I can see where, where you could see that even that paradigm shifts going on with us right now politically um but for us that's the reason why we called it that was something that was a shift within our band what's the response of your huge fan base around the world the tens of millions of corn uh, addicts out there uh, what has their response been to you calling out the nsa calling out obama calling out the republicans calling out the entire criminal regime I mean, uh, overall, the the fans have been saying, you know, giving us, you know, kudos to you for having the balls to make a video like that. Um, the response has been overwhelming. It's been really, really good, and it's, it, it really feels good to see that kids do are starting to understand this and starting to get it. Well, for those that don't know, the reason I really admire what you're doing is I happen to know a lot of big rock and roll people and other folks. And, you know, Dave Mustaine's had the courage to go on air. People like Billy Corgan have had the courage to go on air and, and, and criticize the system. And I, I, I happen to know, you know that all those people end up getting some type of repercussion. And I know so many other big people that are scared to even say anything, even mild. And, and the fact that it's called courage by your fans, which it is courage in this, in this world of tyranny, as George Orwell said, in a world of universal deceit, telling the truth, a revolutionary act, it shows how far down the rabbit hole of tyranny we are that it is ballsy. Uh, for you to have the will and your band to put out that uh, put out that music video. Yeah, it is. I guess it is. I mean, for us, it was just we we're having fun. It's like let's let's really throw all this out there and see what happens, you know? Because every time I've ever said anything about against Obama or any kind of done anything political like that, I, I end up having to post all this stuff. All the, it's so funny. I have clips I've I've saved where like I called Obama a puppet or when. 
I wanted uh, oh, a certain political or, or a presidential candidate, all this stuff. It's, it's funny how you just say something like that and it gets so much coverage. So hopefully this is going to help. Well, it certainly is. Uh, talking about the rest of the band, uh, who contributed? I mean, I mean, you all made the music, you all contributed, but who directed the video? Because it's so well done. Um, you know, I don't even know the director's name. I'm sorry. It, no, no, I mean, it was collaborative then. The whole group put it together. Yeah, collaborative. Um, they had, we had this idea, and uh, it was it was really interesting. It was the first time we did a video with big robot cameras, and I, I kept tweeting that day. I remember when cameras were run by human beings and. It's, it's pretty funny how our how our world's turning into just being observed with robots. And that was one of the reasons we had those. It was pretty cool. Sure. Well, a lot of times we end up finishing a video and we go, now, who directed this? And nobody knows because it's all collaborative. But that's when you put something really good out is when everybody just gets in there and it just suddenly it comes out. But, man, I'm telling you, you're leading the revolution here. And I'm sure you know that. That if we can get people in entertainment, people in music, that's why the system tries to keep you guys under a thumb to break out. Uh, it's over for the establishment. What do you see in the future, uh, either outside of Illuminati control or if we don't defeat them? I mean, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what's going to happen, but it's it's pretty insane that the world, oh, you know, internationally in the world, there's a lot of places that are that are rising up having revolutions because they don't like their government. I just think it's time for us to follow suit. Well, exactly. If we had a Republican in there doing this, I'd want him impeached. But because he supposedly has the moral high ground and he's a liberal, any criticism of him is basically like blasphemy or something. I'm sorry, Obama's not my God, and I shouldn't have to worship him. No, that's, that's everyone's right to do whatever they want. That's why we have this country. Now, Jonathan Davis, you know I can talk a lot, but I, I want to give you in the five, six minutes we have left a chance to basically take over the airwaves and just anything you want to talk about, anything in the world going on. After this interview's over, I know you're going to wish you would have said something, so say it now. I just want us to become the country you used to be. I remember when I was a kid how amazing our country was. Um, and as I've grown up and watched things happen, I just want it to be like it used to be. And like I said, I don't, I don't I'm not a really political person. I don't, I don't want to come off like I don't know what I'm talking about, but I just I really want to leave a world for my kids to, you know, have the liberties and the privacy that this country was founded on. So that being said, that's that's just my goal. And that's it. Just that's pretty it. So you're standing up, and you know what's happening's not good. Yeah. It's, it's, it's really that simple. I mean, that's why I say, why isn't there a bigger revolution in this country? They're illegally spying on everything we do. Why not live in glass houses? I mean, this we're being. if you don't have privacy, you don't have freedom, you're a slave. It's that simple. It's really that simple. Nobody wants the government knowing what they're doing. The government, it's not, it's not their business. It's, it's crazy that this is happening. Well, what would you do if you caught some neighbor climbing your fence, looking in your window at night? Even if you're a nice guy, and I'm a nice guy, I would probably walk out and punch him in the face. But then government is staring in our windows, staring into our bedrooms, everything we do. And it's like, well, they're the government. No, no, no. It's even worse for them to do it historically. Yeah, it's worse. I mean, they're, I'm hearing stories that they're starting to try and take our guns now. Um, there's all kinds of scary stuff going on. Um, it's, it's sad, bro. We need to get it together. Corn.com. You know, I haven't downloaded the entire record yet because I've been watching them on your YouTube uh, site. But I got to say, out of all your records, uh, this one this one is one of the best. Uh, how do you guys keep it so original? Because talking to other other big music talents, they say that's the biggest thing. It's easy to do one record, two records, three really hard, four super hard. I mean, is that true? It, 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 it gets harder each time? I think it gets harder each time if you don't experiment. Um, for us, we've always tried to be innovators. We've always tried to do something different from the last record. And that's what keeps it fun for us. So I think it's the longevity of the band. We've been around so long. It's, because we're constantly evolving and, and, and being artists. I mean, you don't want to do the same thing over and over again. So I feel blessed just to still be here after 20 years doing this. Well, we got to salute the rest of your band because, I mean, I'm sure they all had to agree to be part of this evil sacrilege, this blasphemy of criticizing the dear leader. So, uh, wow, they sound like thought criminals like you. 
<laughs> we all are, right? The world needs us, Alex. They certainly do. Wow. Well, uh, when are you going to be touring back in the United States? Um, I believe I'll be doing some shows when I get back um, in April. I believe that's when I'm doing some more shows. And then uh, we got some summer tours, stuff like that. But we're always constantly touring. We don't stop. All right. Well, listen, uh, Jonathan uh, Davis, I really appreciate you spending so much time with us. Corn.com. Folks can find you at Facebook.com forward slash corn. Twitter.com forward slash corn. Give us just closing thoughts uh, on uh, the place humanity is right now. I think you've already said it, though. Now's the time to stand up, speak out, or be slaves. Exactly. There's no, you can't, it, it, the change has to come, and it's going to be from the people. And uh, definitely this system we got right now is not working, so it's time to, to, to change it. All right, well, I hope when you get back to the U.S. sometime that we can uh, get a chance to interview you in studio or send a camera over to meet the rest of the crew. Thank you so much, Jonathan Davis. Thank you, Alex. You're amazing, man. No, no, you guys are. Thank you so much. You're welcome, brother. Wow. Uh, folks, uh, again, ladies and gentlemen, uh, you don't know the courage it takes when you're in entertainment. The, the whole system comes after you, and I can't get into the stories because they're, they're confidential. Um, but it's well known how they try to keep people on a short leash. And I got a, a, a text message from a huge rock star just last week when I was talking about Hollywood and how they're waking up. And he said, you know, you do not know how true that is, Alex. It's really happening so just keep talking about what's happening in Hollywood and the music industry. Because listen, if the system loses Hollywood and loses the music people, it's over. I happen to know for a fact in country music, they try to tell people be establishment now and promote Obama. You've been seeing big country singers promote gun control now suddenly. And they point blank tell them, you're going to get a bigger record deal. We're going to put you on at the Super Bowl. We're going to promote you if you promote Obama. And, and, and again, Republicans have done bad stuff, too. It's just never has it been like this, where there's literal blacklist if you don't play ball. And, I mean, they don't play you on the radio, folks, if you criticize Obama mildly. They, and, and, and Corn is a group playing on the radio all the time. And they're willing to put out a, a, a record, an album, dead center attacking Obama being a globalist front man and wanting our guns. I mean, that's because the culture only cares about music and entertainment. Most people aren't focused on news. The real battle is in music entertainment. And I'd say about 20% of Hollywood are hardcore leftists who really believe what they're doing. Another 20, 30% are establishment leftists that do it just like it's part of being the club, like being part of the Nazi party, but you're not really a Nazi. That happened in Germany. <laughs> Most Nazis were not Nazis. They just didn't want to get put in a labor camp. And then you've got maybe 20, 30% that are libertarian, and then maybe 10, 15% that are what you call mainline conservative. But Hollywood goes after libertarians. Libertarianism is really, out of all the groups, the biggest one group in LA and Austin. I mean, I know, folks. I've been to all the A list parties. For whatever reason, I was able to get into all that. And I mean, I didn't do it a lot. But used to, I got invited out to Los Angeles, you know, every month to be on TV shows and stuff. Well, I just say no to those now just because, you know, you fly out there, you spend three days, they interview you twice, you end up being on some TV show for two minutes about, you know, Masons or the New World Order or whatever, or Bohemian Grove, or you've seen all the shows I've been on. I don't even watch those shows I'm on now. And while I was there, you know, I, 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 you go to one Hollywood party, you meet all these people, hey, come to this party. And then you get into this group of people and you get into that group of people. I mean, there isn't a lot of people I haven't met or run into. And they're like, oh, you're Alex Jones. I love your work. Yeah, you know, we're not allowed to tell people what we really think or they come after us. But, you know, we don't like the Republicans or the Democrats. We're like libertarians and we know there's stuff in the water and we know it's all rigged. And, you know, we just want a future. They're just like us, folks. You're like, man, you want to go public. No way. You go public, they will. You'll never work again. Just like James Wood said. I mean, when James Woods went public against Obama, he was destroying his career. His career was hotter than ever. And, and, and so, you know, it's like corn. I mean, they're, they're, they're still top of their game, making tens of millions of dollars a year on the radio. And they're just like, you know what? We're done. We're going after Obama. We're going after the New World Order. We're going after Miley Cyrus. We're going after Justin Bieber. We're going after the whole facade. That's what it takes to have a future. We're on the march. The empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio.